Hey everyone, this is Hard Capricorn. Today I want to discuss just a few risks that Capricorns may have to take if you want to find love. Okay, so the first risk that I feel like Capricorns must take in order to find that true love is definitely getting out of your comfort zone. It is not surprising that many Capricorns like to be in our safe bubble away from harm and away from people who would hurt us. We are not the most trusting zodiac sign out there. It takes a lot for a Capricorn to warm up to people and even get to that point where we are wanting to have you in our lives and wanting to have you in our space. But obviously this cannot happen if a Capricorn is always in our own world or in our own bubble. We definitely need to find ways to put ourselves out there and just be able to open ourselves up in life just to take more risks. So if you're wanting to find true love, you definitely have to get out of that comfort zone. If you are wanting to find a meaningful, true love, you have to be able to take the risk and open yourself up to letting people in. Now, just because I'm telling Capricorns to get out of their comfort zone doesn't mean that I'm telling you to not take your brain with you. This is one of the great things about being a Capricorn. We are always going to think logically above everything else. So while you are taking these risks and you are getting out of your comfort zone, don't leave your brain behind. Don't put yourself in any compromising situations that you are not truly comfortable with. Always use your common sense. And as Capricorns, I know that you're going to do that. But I will say that risking your comfort zone is definitely something that you will have to do in order to find love or just to meet new people and just to put yourself out there. But always do it with caution. And like I said, don't put yourself in any compromising, uncomfortable situations that are going to harm you in the end. Don't do it. And the next thing a Capricorn may have to risk in order to find true love is definitely hiding from your emotions. When it comes to getting to know new people or just protecting ourselves in general, Capricorns will definitely have the tendency to hide from our emotions, hide our emotions from new people. We just are not the type who spills our guts to everyone upon meeting them. I will be the first to admit we can be tough at times when it comes to getting to know people and for people to get into know us but you may just have to risk hiding those emotions when you are trying to find love capricorns are definitely not the type to just put it all out on the table we definitely like to keep our emotions reserved for those who mean the most to us and those who we know will appreciate these emotions that we are spilling to them Capricorns are definitely this way just because we really don't want our emotions to be taken advantage of. So we would just rather keep that side to ourselves and just, just keep a low key vibe when it comes to letting things out and letting people get close to us and also showing those emotions. But Capricorns, if you are wanting to put yourself out there to find true love, you will definitely have to start showing some type of emotion. You do not want these people that you are trying to get with to think that you are just an emotionless robot, that you have no feelings. Because deep down, Capricorns have a lot of feelings and we definitely have a lot of emotions but we are not just spilling them out to everyone and not everyone gets to see that softer side of a Capricorn. But when you are in the dating scene and you are trying to get to know people, let that softer side out. Let some emotions out. I'm not telling you to go in there and just spill your whole life story on the first date or whatever, but definitely open yourself up and let people in to get to know who you really are at the core and let them see the type of wonderful person that you really are because Capricorns are really good people. I don't care what nobody says. The people that are close to Capricorns know how genuine and just caring we are when it comes to the people who are in our lives. So it's okay to let that side out when you are courting or when you are dating someone that is extremely important. And the next thing that you may have to risk if you are trying to find true love, Capricorn, is definitely the consistency of your routine. Now, it is no surprise. Capricorns definitely thrive off of consistency and having the ease when it comes to just being able to do things that are familiar to us and having that routine and kind of knowing how our everyday is going to go. 
Capricorns are totally fine with the consistency of our lives and just having, dare I say it, a humdrum life. Capricorns are definitely okay with that. Is it always the best thing for us? No, but it just just puts us at ease and it just gives us so much peace just knowing that things are consistently the same. But when you are trying to find love and you're trying to find true love, you have to be able to, you know, kind of break that up. It's okay to not feel flustered when somebody you're dating just wants to spontaneously go out and spend time with you. Do it. Don't always stick to your routine when you are trying to put yourself out there and date someone. And when you get that person and you are serious and you are in love, don't change that. Don't go back to not being flexible or not being um, willing to break that consistency every now and again when it comes to your partner. Keep it up. Don't just do it to get the person. Keep it up. But it's also important to find a person who respects the fact that you do like consistency. So when you are in that relationship, just having that understanding from them will definitely go a long, long way. So Capricorns, never be afraid to just open yourselves up to the possibilities that life has to offer. Don't be afraid of being spontaneous. It is okay. Now, I'm not saying that all Capricorns don't like to be spontaneous. That is not what I'm saying, but I'm saying the majority of us like the consistency <laughs> that everyday life gives us, everyday routine gives us. And so we're not all spontaneous. We are not all just ready to just go on a drop of a dime. Like we all live different lives. We all are different individuals, but as a whole, be okay with being spontaneous. And once you have built that bond and that connection with that person, you can always return to your consistency. But like I said, don't get too comfortable with not being flexible when it comes to um, doing things that your partner may want to do. And you may actually find something that is better for you and provides more harmony for your life and something that just helps you not always staying inside of the box. It's okay to break out of that box and do new things, meet new people, show your emotions to some people. That is okay. Now, with all that being said in this video, there are some things that you definitely should not risk when you are looking for love. And definitely that would have to be your self-worth, your value, and who you are at the core. Never compromise those things when you are in the pursuit of finding love. But at the end of the day, there's absolutely nothing wrong with putting yourself out there and changing up a few things, changing up your routine in order to find the right partner for you. All right, so down below, I want to know what are some risks that you think that people have to take in life when they are wanting to just expand themselves and find true love and do new things in life? What are some things that you find that you may have to risk to do these things? Or what are some things that you just feel like people have to risk in order to open themselves up to new opportunities in life? I really want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and you'll be sure to hear from me soon. All right, bye-bye.